This is Ventilation Maximum's VMAX AT1 12x13DF, also known as the VMAX DF. We use this on roofs where we can't get air in through the soffit. By placing this on top of the roof, we allow net free air to enter the attic system and exhaust it through the roof. Something unique to these style of vents is the media filter. Any moisture within the vent collects in the drip tray and is channeled on top of the shingles. Also, a deflector on the front, hence the DF. Both contribute to helping pollen, inclement weather, and debris from getting into the attic. Another unique feature about the DF is the slanted louvers in the front. This way, any wind-driven rain coming in is still bounced back outside of the vent. The DF is manufactured with heavy gauge steel, which means it won't oil can. It's also powder coated, which makes it durable for installation. I can't say enough about these vents. They've built me out on tons of different roofs everywhere we go, where we can't get air in through the soffit. Sometimes it's poor construction, sometimes the insulation's blocking it, and this is a perfect example of how this helps the system work. Having already been in the attic and checked the spacing of the trusses, I've created a template using a piece of cardboard, which we're gonna overlay on the roof to ensure that we don't cut the trusses when we're cutting our shingles. Using our sharp knife or a roofer's knife, follow the line that you've traced and cut the shingles out. With the nails removed and the plywood exposed, you can now cut the plywood using your saw. With your plywood cut out and removed, pop the nails around the hole to ensure that the vent can slide up under the shingles smoothly. One thing that's important is that the insulation is not pressed up to the underside of the plywood. If this insulation was pressed up against the plywood, this vent now becomes useless. With your plywood removed, slide your vent up underneath the shingles and make sure that the opening of the vent is in line with the opening of the roof. Next, apply a generous bead of roofing cement around the flange. Slide your vent up underneath the shingles. With your vent in place, now use screws or nails to fasten it to the roof deck. With your vent fully fastened to the roof, we now have to seal the shingles along the sides of the vent. Use roofing cement and lift the tab, placing a little dab on each one. Finish by applying a bead of roofing cement around the perimeter, sealing all joints. 